What is up everyone, JP McDaniel here once again with the latest installment for the NOS Performance Pro Tips presented by MLG. As usual we have gameplay from the best StarCraft 2 players in the world and we're looking to break it down for you. So without further delay, let's take a look at the game. Today we're taking a look at the one true Dong, Dong Regu. Today we'll be taking a look at an example of his dominant ZVZ play from the MLG Winter Championships as he goes up against the American Ostoji. After his initial banding attack, you'll see that Dong Regu cripples his opponent's economy and follows up with another devastating attack. The second attack only succeeds because the opening attack was so effective. There will be no 10 pulling here, so go ahead and drone till 9, make your overlord, droning up till 15, and then make a hatchery at your expansion. Continue to drone up to 16, after that put down your gas, drone back up to 16, and then throw down your spawning pool. You should continue to drone after this and finally make an overlord on 17 of 18 supply. Go up till 18 of 18 supply, and once you have 92 gas, pull off two drones leaving one on the Vespian Geyser. Once the pull finishes, create two queens, one for each hatchery, and when you get 100 gas, start zergling speed at your spawning pool. Building only two lanes at this stage in the game will suffice because all you're trying to do is scout your opponent. Continue to drone up till 28 supply and throw down your baneling nest. Once your baneling nest is nearing completion, you'll want to start creating and sending zerglings right outside your opponent's base. Morph four banelings and poke in with your lings while they are completing. Make sure not to waste your banelings when you engage. Save them for the best possible kill on drones and lings. If you see your opponent isn't that ling heavy, morph in two more so you can get some more drone kills by sneaking them into the main while your opponent's ling count is low. You'll see here that DRG weakens his opponent, cutting the supply in half and then droning behind it while throwing down a roach one. He's practically won the game already unless he allows his opponent to drone back by not following up with another attack. When he moves in with his roaches to attack, notice how close he gets them to his opponent's army. This is something you can practice as it'll definitely help to optimize your roach vs roach fights. Once again, he cripples his opponent here, and as soon as Ostoji moves in with Lynx and sees the third base and all the roaches at the natural, he is forced to GG. As always, the three things to remember from this are, number one, go for drones, not Lynx with your banelings. If you can hurt his economy, then you'll win the game. In ZVZ, if your opponent is in a weakened state, don't let him come back into the game. Follow up with an attack that will surely kill him, otherwise he might surprise you with tech and take the match you had already won. Overlord placement makes all the difference in ZVZ. Make sure to actively spread your overlords around the map, starting with your opponent's attack routes from his base to yours. For more NOS performance videos, go to MajorLeagueGaming.com slash NOS.